Hello and welcome to this video. My name is ActiQ and today Jackex finally released the new solo boss called Araxor. And Araxor is located south of Port Pasmartis and it should be a decent difficult fight for everybody who wants to take it on. If you kill the Araxor you will be able to obtain items that you can use in order to create the new level 90 weaponry. And these weapons are all two-handed weapons. So there is the Noxus Scythe, the Noxus Bow and the Noxus Staff. All these three weapons are created by combining the stick that you get from the Araxor fight with the main piece that you also get from the Araxor fight. And the sticks can be only obtained by fighting with all three different roads of Araxor. So you have to fight Araxor with all three different roads and only two of those roads are possible to be fought at one time. And the possible roads change every four days. The stick that you create with the three different pieces is a tradable item and also the final weapons are a tradable item, but the main pieces and the pieces to make the stick are not tradable. If you wish to fight the Araxor, please notice that you cannot teleport out from the fight, so it's either die or live. And if you die at the Araxor fight, you will get a normal gravestone, and the gravestone will be located at the graveyard area, which can be accessed with the right click option when entering the Araxor's hive. I obviously can't go much into the mechanics as I haven't really killed it myself and I will still have to learn a lot when I kill the Araxor. So the only tip that I can give to you is go there and try different things. And when you first enter to the Araxor's lair, you have to choose which path you want to burn down. And the damage that you deal on each phase will affect the difficulty of the next phase. But like said, good luck to Araxor and I'm definitely going to be camping it myself a lot. In other news, all bonds will be now stored in a different bond interface so that you don't have to clutter your bank if you want to buy a lot of bonds. The lobby in the runescape was given kind of a rework, so now it looks a bit nicer, I suppose. And now you can access the Twitch integration tool with the social tab in runescape, so now you don't need to get an external program to stream runescape, and you can stream runescape completely using the runescape client. I will leave a link to the Twitch integration video by Jagex so that you can check that out yourself. And lastly, there were only a couple of patch notes that I find interesting. So the Enchanted Excalibur special attack no longer persists in duels when the option is disabled, so you cannot use this to have an unfair advantage at the dual arena. And the Berserker ability no longer stays on if you switch from EOC mode to Legacy mode, so you cannot exploit this in order to make impossible AGS specs. I will also leave a link to the patch notes so you can check them out yourself, but now I'm going to go camp Araxor, and good luck for your Araxor camping as well. I hope you get lucky, I hope I get lucky, and other than that, I'll just thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.